Hello. Welcome to our Wednesday workout. So, um, you need um, two weights if you've got them, okay? If you would like to use them. If you're not using weights, as always, you can have some stuffies with you. So you've got something to hold. So even though they don't weigh a lot, it still gives you something to focus on through the workouts, okay? So stuffies are good. I also have my uh, box here. So if you, we got a few things that are on the floor tonight. If you are not going to be on the floor with us, um, then uh, maybe a chair or a bench or something that's um, hard, something that's stable that you can sit on, okay, if you don't want to go down to the floor for floor exercises. So we're going to start with our warm-up, okay, so we're just going to step side to side and reach overhead. Okay, so as always, remember, you want to make sure that the area is clear, okay? There's nothing that you can trip over. You want to make sure that you wear appropriate um, footwear, appropriate clothing. Like, I can even tell right now I have my hoodie on and it's unzipped, and normally I zip it up, but today I did not, and it's moving around, so eventually this is going to come off because it's going to get tangled or it might hit you in the face so you want to be very careful are you are you following my arm movements here as i talk with my hands <laughs> okay we're gonna march in place if you don't want to march you're always welcome to do jumping jacks here feel free to do some jumping jacks um but make sure your whatever you're wearing is not going to get stuck on anything or caught on the weights or anything like that okay um rest as you need have, have water if you need water um, if you're going to drink water, um, please make sure that you don't gulp it. Take a, s a sip of the water, hold it in your mouth for a, a couple seconds, and then slowly swallow it. Gulping it is not good, okay? And then exercise, of course, to your level, okay? So there's always going to be modifications that I will show you, all right? We're going to do alternating hands and feet, okay? Good. And if you would like a little bit extra here, because I know sometimes people want a little bit more, you're welcome to add a little hop as you reach for that front leg. If you can't reach the leg, you can do this with your knees bent and reach for your knees, okay? So I hope everybody's ready for a workout. We have three groups of exercises. We're gonna do 10 reps of each exercise. We're gonna repeat each section twice. Go to the next section, then the third section, and depending on time, we may repeat it one time through a final time, okay? So that's the structure. Everybody's on. I see you. Welcome. Thank you for joining me, okay? Um, so the first move that we're going to do is going to be a side shuffle with a cross body knee to elbow. So I'll show you what it looks like, and then I'll show you the modification. So if you're shuffling, you're going to shuffle across and then bring your arm and your, your knee and your elbow together. If you are not shuffling, you may stand in spot and do it this way, or you can walk side to side, two steps, and then crunch, okay? Everybody ready? We're gonna do 10, here we go. And I'm just gonna walk it out, okay? Two, good. Knees are bent the whole entire time. Core is engaged. Don't lean too far forward, okay? You can do the seated if you need to, one more. Other side, there we go. See, 10, it's nothing. We're gonna get like seven rounds. I always say that, but it never happens. Okay, now we need our weights or our stuffies. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do stuffies for this round. So what we're gonna do with my left arm, I'm gonna do a bicep curl, okay? And this one, my right arm, I'm just gonna hold the weight up at the top. I'm gonna come down and turn my palm towards the inside of my body and I'm gonna do a side raise, okay? So the bicep curl with the lighter weight, you're gonna do nice and slow because we're not changing weights and the lateral raise is a little bit harder, okay? So knees are slightly bent, nice and slow, all the way up, all the way down, turn that hand and then up to shoulder height, that's three, okay? Here we go. Tuck that elbow in, good, and then up there's four so we're not going fast we're going slow so the slower we go 
the more the muscle has to work because it's under tension, we would say. It's working for longer, okay? This one is number six. Good. There we go. Tuck that elbow nice and slow. Good. So the reason we're going slow, like I said, is you probably can do more for the bicep curl as far as weight wise than you can for the lateral raise. But we don't want to overwork that shoulder and injure ourselves. So we go a little bit slower and it makes it a little bit harder going at a slow speed. We got one more. It seems like 10 is forever, right? Like, whoo, there you go. Good. So now we're going to switch. So my left arm is holding my, it's a ram, and my giraffe is gonna come up nice and slow, and then down, knees are slightly bent, turn that palm down to the ground, and then up, okay? Good, this one's number two, good. If you would like a little bit of extra work while you're here, you can go down into a bit of a squat, you can do it to a regular squat, you could stand in a plie squat if you like, that's perfectly fine. Give your legs a little bit of extra work, okay? Try not to have a death grip on your stuffies or on your weights. You don't want your knuckles to be white and you don't want the energy to go towards your hand. We want to think about the energy and going towards our muscles. So we're thinking about the bicep, which is the front of the arm, and then down. And this stationary one is doing work because it's holding the weight there, right? Make sure that elbow is tucked in on that that static side that's not moving. This one is number six. Good. And raise up. Good. Seven. I know, hey? <laughs> you might feel this after a few reps. Because <laughs> we're going a little bit slower, so it definitely makes a difference. Good. Good. I got one more after this one. Good. Last one and side range, raise, sorry, there we go. Okay, so the next exercise is a side lunge with a bicep curl and a knee raise. So there's a little bit happening here, okay? So I'm gonna show you the movement and then I will show you the modifications, okay? So I'm gonna step out with my right foot into a side lunge so the weight is in my left hand, okay? I'm gonna step out to the side and I'm gonna push my bum to the back. This arm with the weights is gonna hang. I'm gonna come to the top if you need to tap down, tap down. Bicep curl up, knee raise. Down and up, okay? If you are modifying, you are going to stand with your legs wider than hip width. You're gonna bend that knee just a, just a touch, just a touch, and pretend you're sitting down. Stick your bum out to the corner, okay? And you're gonna stay here, okay? And you're gonna do the bicep curl here. That's what you're doing. That's one modification. If you want a little bit more challenge, but not the movement, you can stand on one leg, knee is up, and you do your bicep curl here. The bicep curl is a hammer curl, so palm is facing in, okay? So those are the options. You decide what works for you. Here we go. We've got 10 of them. So out to the side, come on up. There's one. So it's nice and controlled. We're not swinging anything. We are not using momentum. We are using our muscles to do the work. Good. So this left hand just kind of comes down and hangs. Okay, I'm not doing anything specific with it. Good, there's five. So you should be challenging yourself with the weight. And what does that mean? So if we typically do three sets of something, okay, then by the time you hit your third set, so if you do 10, three sets of 10, the third round, you should not be able to finish. It should be too heavy for you to finish the reps. That's where you should be. This is the last one. Good. If you can do all three sets, your weight is not heavy enough, okay? Go to the other side, down and up. So we got a lot going on here. My core is doing a lot of work, okay? Maybe you're just gonna step out and just that little bit of a lunge, right? You don't have to go really deep into the lunge or necessary. But we've got some balance happening here. We have some movement. Our core has to keep us nice and stable. The other arm you can put on your waist if you like. Okay, totally up to you. Good. Good, we've got three more. Good. Last two. Good. And one. There you go. So for me, I'm using only five pounds or my stuffies. 
because I'm teaching, <laughs> I'm teaching this while we do it, right? So I would use heavier weights normally, but for the purpose of this video and this class, I'm only using light weights so that I'm not grunting and groaning the whole entire time. So, oh, I skipped, sorry, side shuffle. <laughs> I apologize. So remember, two steps and cross. There we go. I was so excited to get to that bicep curl lateral way raise that I, I just jumped past this one. Okay, good. This is six. Good. Seven. We're almost there. Eight. Good. Nine. Last one. And there we go. Okay, now we're going to do the bicep curl with the lateral raise. Okay, so knees slightly bent. Remember, you can go into a squat and you want to go into a low squat. That's fine. One's racked at the shoulder. Okay, curl up, curl down. This one's slow. Turn your palm and raise. Good. Curl up, curl down. Good. This is two. <laughs> And you know, five pounds is not tons for me. I'm not talking about you, I'm talking about me for a bicep curl, but this lateral raise, it's good. I can feel it because I don't want to hurt myself, right? That's the other thing. If you can't raise all the way up, that is perfectly fine. Go halfway and then come back down. That's fine, no problem. So you just so in order to change an exercise to make it a little bit easier if you're finding it super challenging or for a modification you either drop the weight or you don't do the full range of motion okay and then to make it a little bit harder you go a little bit slower you increase the weight you do the full range of motion okay you gotta switch sides okay here we go we got palm up bicep curl and down and side raise good good so if you want um, sometimes we do the other exercise the one after this one we do a hammer curl which is the palms facing in for the bicep and this one we're doing just a regular concentration curl um, because it hits the different heads of the bicep because it's more than one muscle it's uh, a couple of muscles in that area the bicep is the area there's very specific names for the muscles but we are turning our arm because we're going to hit the different parts of it okay good you're doing fantastic we're almost there good you're doing great just keep breathing we got one more exercise in this set and there you go all right so this one is the bicep curl with the side lunge right so I'm starting, I'm going to step out with the right, weight is in my left hand. Out we go, come on up, if you need to stop. So I stop because I gave myself some momentum. I don't want momentum, I actually want the muscles to do the work. So if you get momentum, what will happen is that you might feel a little bit unstable. Okay, so core is engaged and nice and controlled and we're shifting weight, right? So my standing leg doesn't have as much weight right now, but then I immediately have to shift over here, which causes the muscles in my feet to do a little bit more work and to work in a different way than they're used to, which is important for us because our feet are super, super important for life. Okay. Yep. Good. Last one. And then we go to the other side. Good. Switch sides. Okay. Here we go. We only got 10. We're done this, this set of exercises and we're going on to the next one. Okay, there's two. Good. So I'm not swinging. I'm bringing it down and across. So I'm using the muscles, all right? Good. Fantastic. Let's pull it back here. We got one. Good. Look up as you're doing this. Two. Good. We got one left down and up there we go that's our first block of exercises okay everybody's doing okay you're still with me i see people popping on and stuff so i hope you're you're doing okay all right next thing we're gonna do we're gonna do a lunge pulse okay you may if you would like you can hold weights or your stuffies if you like you don't have to hold anything at all you can have your hands on your waist 
we're gonna go into a lunge okay so I will show you the exercise then I'll show you the modification okay so full let me show you from the front feet legs are hip width apart I'm going down 90 90 front leg back leg okay like this don't let your knee come over your toe put about 60% in the back leg if you want extra you can hold your arms out if you're doing the modification then what I'm gonna ask you to do is just a little bit of a bend in your knees okay my back heel is still off the ground and I'm gonna hold this and then I'm gonna pulse down so we're gonna do 10 on each side okay here we go one two three don't come all the way up four and maybe you're not maybe you're just holding this okay at the top range that's fine hold it no problem all right good one more oh man this one makes me sweat Whew, lunges make me sweat <laughs> I'm just calling it a lunge pulse but uh, you may find it called a prisoner lunge <laughs> because I don't know why you feel like you're in prison when you're doing this you can't wait to finish I have no idea but squeeze your shoulder blades together or you can just have your hands here four good three two one more there you go good all right whoo I'm warm oh man all right I'm gonna use my stuffy for this one this one is a squat with a twist and a press <laughs> we got lots of combo moves tonight I like to work multiple muscle groups you know that if you've been with me or trained with me you know that one group at a time is it's not enough lots of them okay so you can do a little bit I'll show you the exercise I'll show you the modification you're gonna squat you're gonna turn that black leg turns and you squeeze your glute and you're gonna push the weight out if this is hard on the shoulders push down come back same squat same side okay if you're modifying stand with a slight bend in your knee and you're gonna turn just like we're turning and then press okay all right ten aside here we go one good press squeeze your bum two you can do a plie I'm gonna actually do a plie because I prefer it it doesn't hurt my body as much if you have limited mobility in your ankles which well let's be realistic most of us do um, a regular squat is a little bit hard and it may cause some discomfort okay good nice engaged core you're doing great we're almost there good there's 10 okay shake it off and we'll go to the other side so again you don't have to do it with anything at all I'll do this one with nothing so hands on my waist okay I'm gonna go into my squat I'm gonna turn press okay squat turn press okay so I'm actually breaking this down I'm not twisting my toe I'm lifting my foot and putting my toe on the ground okay I'm pivoting it but not through the ball of my foot because I don't want to tweak my knee yeah good good fantastic we're doing great got two left last one good and there we go good okay we got what I call Nighthawk so if you've trained with me you know what Nighthawk is maybe if you remember maybe you do not you can have weights or stuffies I'm using my stuffies we are gonna stand knees slightly bent as always pelvis is tucked palms are facing forward okay you're gonna squeeze your shoulder blades together make sure your shoulders are back and down and what you're gonna do is you're gonna reach out through your hands okay and you're gonna create tension in your arms you're gonna come all the way up to the top as high as you can go and then come all the way down the thing I want you to think about when you do this is imagine you're going up and I'm trying to push your arms down so create resistance you're coming down and I'm trying to hold your arms up okay so you're creating your own resistance don't squeeze the weight don't squeeze the stuffy <laughs> I just realized my poor little ram here was getting his his belly all squished because I was holding on super tight to him so don't do that <laughs> okay we got one more okay good those shoulder blades are back and down core is engaged good last one Ooh, there we go good all right we have that lunge pulse right if you want a little bit of extra because I know sometimes people want a little extra for this you can do a hop okay 
So I'll show you before we start. So instead of just doing a pulse, you can actually do a jump, okay? Totally up to you. I'm just gonna do a pulse, arms out to the side. Here we go, 10 of them, nine, eight. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, good. Okay, we got five left. One, two, three, four, last one. There you go, good. And over to the other side. Remember your modification, maybe you're just holding it here, okay? That's fine, you hold it, engage your core. Everything's working, legs are engaged, the muscles are working. We got four, three, two, last one. There we go, okay. Squat, twist, press out, all right? Okay, so we're gonna squat, turn, okay? Squat, so watch my foot. I'm lifting it and turning it, okay? And placing it down. So I'm not just pivoting through the ball of my foot. Make sure when you get to the middle, weight is in both feet, okay? Good, there we go. If the turning is not an option, you may also just do a glute squeeze. I think there are some of you on here, you know that because you know your bodies, okay? So you can just stand and do a glute squeeze. You'll do it until we're done our 10 and then you'll switch legs, okay? Got one more, there we go, good. Shake it out, squat on the other side, then we're gonna go then we got one more exercise, then we're down to the mat, okay? All right, here we go. Down, turn, press, good. So you can have your weights or your stuffies or a towel or a water bottle, whatever you like. If you have nothing, I really want you to push with your arms, okay? Really forcefully contract the muscles, okay? So they do work. Don't forget, squeeze your bum when you're here, okay? We're almost there, we got three left. Cool, good. Two, good, last one. There we go, good. All right, we got that night hawk, right? So, grab the stuffies. All right, okay, are we ready? Knees slightly bent, hip width apart, pelvis is tucked under, shoulders are back and down, squeeze your shoulder blades together, keep those shoulders down, here we go. Remember, create that resistance, okay? Palms are facing forward the whole entire time, okay? Good, here we go. We just got five of these because I'm counting up as one and down as two. It's your lucky day. Sometimes we count up and down as one. So this is much more preferable. This is your last one. There we go, beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna put my stuffies down. I don't need them and you don't need weights for this. So we have three exercises, okay? First one we're gonna do, we did it last week, we're gonna do boat, okay? So if you know boat, you can set yourself up on the floor. If you're doing it something on something seated, that's fine, you can have your hands behind you. I would use fingertips, lean back a bit and try and lift up those legs nice and long in your upper body. If you're on the floor, okay? Same thing, you can do that as well. Fingertips on the ground, lift up your leg, maybe the second one, maybe they come together, I don't know what's gonna happen, but we're gonna hold it, okay? And we're gonna hold it for 20 seconds, that's it, okay? 20 seconds. Everybody ready? Okay, here we go. Timer is on. Just 20 seconds, so play around with it. If you need to hold your legs, hold behind your thighs. Nice open chest, you're doing great. We have seven seconds left, you're almost there. Come on, good, don't go on your tailbone. You're on your sit bones, there you go, done. That's 20 seconds. See, nothing, Psh. easy peasy. Okay, we have starfish. So, um, if you're doing starfish, I'm gonna show you standing a modification, I'll show you seated and I'll show you on the ground. So starfish, we're opening our arms and legs. So, what you're going to do is both arms, one leg. Both arms, one leg, okay? That's what you're gonna do. If you're seated, same thing. Both arms, one leg. Makes it a little bit harder because you only have your, your bum there and you have to engage your core a little bit more. And if you're on the ground, you're gonna lie on your back, okay? Everybody can see me? Yes, okay, I'm just checking. <laughs> okay, so you're going to lie on your back, knees are in your chest, and you're gonna open your arms and legs and then bring them back to center, okay? closer they are to the ground, the harder it is. So maybe you're down here and you need a modification. Maybe you're just gonna do legs, yeah? Maybe you'll just do arms. 
Maybe you'll do a leg, legs and arms here, and then eventually you get closer to the ground, okay? So it's all about the modification. That's fine as well, okay? You decide what you need to do for this exercise, okay? Low back should be pushed into the ground, all right? Good, good. I don't know if it's nine or 10, let's do one more. There we go, I know, right? You know me. Okay, we have plank. I know, right? I know you love it. Okay, so you can do plank. I will show you from the box or if you have a chair or table. You can do straight arm plank. Chest is between your hands, nice straight legs. You can do elbow plank, same thing. Chest is between your arms, okay? And if you're doing it on the floor, you may do knee plank, straight arm, knee plank, elbow, toes, straight arm, toes, elbow. It doesn't matter, you pick what you want, okay? We got 20 seconds on the clock, all right? Here we go, timer's on, come on up, hold that plank. So squeeze your shoulder blades together, lift your core, push through your heels if you're on your feet, okay? If you're on your knees, shoulder blades together, chest is open, relax your lower legs, okay? And breathe, we're almost there, we have two seconds. And done, fantastic. Whoo, oh man, how's everybody doing? Okay, I've got one more, round. one more round and then we're done, okay? 20 second boat, 10 starfish, 20 second plank, okay? We're gonna knock it out of the park, here we go. Up into boat, so remember you can hold behind your legs. You may also, as you're doing this, Maybe you're lifting one leg, okay? Hold it for 10 seconds, and then you're gonna switch to the other side. You're gonna hold that for 10 seconds, all right? Totally up to you. Don't hold behind your knees. You have three seconds left. Two, one, done. All right, we got starfish. So remember, on the ground, arms and knees in, and open into a star. I'm gonna do the standing version, the alternating. Okay, here we go. Open, and then down. Open. Good. Standing knee is bent if you're doing this, okay? Good. Up. Good. This is five. We're almost there. Six. We got four of these. Then we have plank and then we stretch, okay? You're doing awesome. We got two left, okay? Good. Last one. Whoa. There we go. We got plank. I'm going to use my box. 20 seconds on the clock. Straight arm plank. Okay, so as you progress through this, the other thing to think about, if I want to make it harder, I'm going to lift up one leg, okay, and hold that for 10 seconds, and then I'll switch sides. And maybe this is super easy, so maybe I'm going to try and lift up one hand, okay, good, there's your 20 seconds. See, it flew by, our time flew by. That's the end of the workout, we're going to stretch, okay, you did it fantastic. So stretch your arm across the front of your body. Grab a sip of water if you need it. Shoulder is down and arm is relaxed, okay? So as we stretch, I want you to think about, you know, I always leave you with a, a thought, a quote to think about as you go into the rest of your week and to guide you through until next Wednesday. Nice. And so I want you to think about this. You don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. Okay, so I know that right now things are still a little bit unpredictable. It's getting better. Things are starting to open up, but we still don't know what's going on. We don't know what the future looks like. And so a lot of people are starting new things or they're jumping onto Wednesday workouts or they're, you know, starting to go walk around the block. Whatever it is that you're doing, whatever it is you're starting, just start. You don't have to be good at it. So like... Plank. You don't have to be good at plank. Interlace your fingers. You just have to start to learn how to be better at it, right? And you're never going to be better at it until you start. Like that's the reality, right? So just try and you can only get better. It's, you know, I, I'm sure I've told this story, but it's like when I have clients that say, I can't do push-ups," And I say to them, well, how, how often do you practice push-ups?" Well, I never do push-ups and that's why you can't do push-ups <laughs> like because you're not doing it you're waiting to be great at something 
instead of just starting and then you become great at it, okay? If, so I hope that that resonates with you and makes some sense. So stand a little bit wider than hip width apart and we're gonna go just like that side lunge that we did. I want you to stick your hip out to the side and a little bit to the back and you should get a stretch on your inner thigh, okay? And you might not, so what I would invite you to do is kind of play around with the angle of where this hip is, okay? And sort of change the weight distribution in that hip and in this straight leg because it will change the stretch that you have, okay? Good, come back to center and then we'll go out to the other side. So don't let the knee of that bent leg come in front of your toe. So, so for me on this side, when I'm pushing back on that 45 into the corner, I feel the stretch. On the other side, I got the stretch when I pushed out a little bit to the side. So completely change depending on what's going on with your body. So it's not always the same, right? Good, come back to center. We're gonna inhale your arms up. Good, and then just exhale. Gently fold forward all the way to the ground and let your head and arms relax. Bend your knees if you need to. Just hang out for a bit. And breathe, good. And then when you're gonna inhale, open your arms, sweep them up all the way to the top. We'll do that one more time. Fold forward, bend your knees if you need to, relax, hang your head. Inhale, bring your arms up, good, and relax, good. Give everything a little bit of a, a shake and a twist it out. Just let everything be loose. So that is your workout. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that, you know, you learned a few things. Maybe you did something that you couldn't do before. And maybe you progress a little bit from both from last week. So, you know, I, I was talking to a client this week and um, we were talking about boat and she said that she hated, she used to hate boat. And now she actually likes it because it actually is an exercise that even if you only practice it like 10 or 20 seconds a day, you can get progression really, really quickly. So if you want to see progress, if you want to become great at something, do boat <laughs> or do starfish. Those are two perfectly amazing examples of exercises, <clears throat> pardon me, that you can do and see benefits and not only benefits, but improvement really, really quickly. Okay. Anyway, have yourself a fantastic week. Thank you for your time. Thank you for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed it and share this with your friends. Invite your friends to our workout next week. There's always um, a replay. I always, it's on the Facebook page. I also have a YouTube channel. It's on the workouts are all posted there as well. Okay. Have a fantastic night and I'll see you next week. Bye.